everyone and welcome to another episode of Newscast. My name is Sam Healy and in these videos we tell you all of the latest news about our projects as well as the company. As always, if you don't want to watch the entire video, you can skip to the parts that interest you by utilizing the timestamps in the description below. For general news today, I'll be scheduling my two videos today for later this week on Thursday and Friday, so be on the lookout for those and make plans now to be there. I'll be working on editing the footage of Part 1 of the Level 4 Darkest Dungeon footage this week, and it should be up by Saturday. JT and I still haven't been able to shoot the final video, but we will try to get it done soon. Now, we don't have a whole lot of updates this week, but let's get to what news we do have for you today. For Solomon Kane Wave 2 today, just a short update to say that the product is set to hit Meeple Logistics tomorrow and Quartermaster Logistics next week. This is to simply say that folks can begin looking for address verification emails from those two hubs within those respective windows of time. Which leads me to the next thing I need to mention, address changes. The Solomon Kane order lists we send to the hubs have already been processed at this point, so any address changes that have not yet been sent to our customer support team will need to wait until you receive the address verification emails from the hub. Now, with that being said, our fulfillment manager spent a lot of time over the weekend going through all of the emails that we've received for Solomon Kane for the express purpose of answering any that were for address changes. But from here on out, we won't be able to process any more address changes through the customer support email. Responding to the hub's address verification emails will accomplish the same purpose, though. So please don't neglect to respond to those emails from the hub. For Monster Apocalypse today, we are jumping right back into the new year with the same excitement a guard unit gets when it sees Sky Sentinel appear on the horizon, gung-ho and ready to rock and roll. Comms have been hot and heavy between us and Privateer Press as they check and review the various booklets and rule books, iteration after iteration, as we get closer and closer to a finished product. We'll be sure to bring everyone up to speed as we progress. One small change, but a mighty big improvement, is that we've decided to change the size of the monster unit cards for the game. This came about for a couple of reasons. We wanted to answer the call for providing more legible information on the cards, and we also want to begin streamlining the size of oddly shaped cards in our games. So we've decided to change the size of the monster unit cards to match the size of the large monster cards in Darkest Dungeon, which also provides an ample amount of space for text and or graphics. These examples showcase the new size, but are still very much works in progress. You can see how there's much more room for text, and we're sure that they'll turn out to be much better with a few more tweaks here and there. Again, these are just mock-ups to try out the new format and size of the cards, so please understand that they are still subject to change in the future. We also know that a fair amount of you still have questions about how to change your pledge in the Pledge Manager, and we should have some direction on that issue really soon. Our next update will focus primarily on our overall progress towards being ready for production. So, stay tuned. Death. <laughs> Death is only the beginning. Arise, friend or foe, it matters not. Now they are part of my eternal army. The necromancers are not created infants. We all drag ourselves from our beloved Valley of Souls, low-born apprentice in tow. As wretched as I was, I required the tools of my trade. From the flames of the forge, I drew forth magic artifacts to wield. Through study of the arcane, I gained the edge on the battlefield. With my newfound power and armies, I took cities, ventured into dungeons, and asserted my dominion over these lands. However, I forgot one thing. The Valley of Souls spewed forth far more than one necromancer. Who? Who of us all? Will lay claim to the title of King Necromancer. Our rise has not gone unnoticed, and the forces of light invade. Knights, noble griffins, all pledged to destroy us, led by the wizened Archbishop 
and his plan to forever seal our Valley of Souls. We must stop the light, save our kind. The demons must be called. Harbingers of blood, bone, mist, and decay, I summon thee. The light is defeated, but oh, the price. Our isle sinks, now we travel west and claim the land of the light. Holding our very souls into broken holes, we brave the deep, vanquishing holders only to raise them as our new minions. Onwards to revenge! Let us conquer the land of light! The first project launch of the year for Mythic Games, Rise of the Necromancers, is now live on GameFound. This is a collaboration with Sword Loser Games and the next installment of our Phoenix line of games. This new collaboration will offer not only the core game and previously available expansion Dawn and Demons, but will also include a new expansion, Undead Sea, not to mention The Grim Harvest, a collection of upgraded components and stretch goals from the campaign. Choose your necromancer, recruit your apprentice, and venture forth. Raise eternal armies, conquer cities, and levy taxes paid in corpses. Explore dungeons, and claim the title of the headmaster of four great necromantic academies. The first player to place their last Dominion counter wins. So whether you're a veteran necromancer from the original Kickstarter campaign with Sore Loser Games, or a newly interested apprentice here to dabble in the dark arts, we have a pledge level for you. And we also have two new articles on the expansions, Dawn and Demons and Undead Sea, on our website, to which you can find the links in the description below. So come on over to GameFound and check out the campaign. It'll be live for just 10 days until January 21st, so don't waste any time. Now remember that Leo will be live tomorrow at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on our YouTube channel with a live Q&A in English and at 8.30 p.m. Paris Time with a live Q&A in French. So tune in if you have any questions or just want to see what Leo may have in store to show you because frankly you never know what Leo's going to do. As mentioned earlier, I'll be back to normal this week for my other two videos, the Mythic Plays and Live Q&A on Thursday and Friday, respectively, so be on the lookout for those. That's it for today, though. Once again, stay safe, play some games while you're at it, and we'll see you on the flip side. Take care. <laughs>